Hello everyone. Today we'll start with insolvency and bankruptcy code 2016. So there are two different words with different meanings. First we'll try to understand the meaning of insolvency. As you all know insolvency or insolvents uh, is the person or is a company who is unable to pay his own debt. Otherwise uh, where the assets are not enough to cover up the liabilities. Whatever assets are there for the company that are not sufficient to pay off your liabilities. So it arises due to inability to pay off outstanding debts. Whatever debts you are previously used to have those outstanding, now you are unable to pay, your inability to pay. So here yourself, that means the company itself or the person itself, suppose if you are talking about individual, so he himself def uh, declare himself as insolvent uh, and as well as if the company think that if they are unable to pay his own debt, the company itself declare as insolvents. That means they are unable to pay debts uh, as of now because they are insolvent. But it is not the permanent stage. It is only a temporary stage. Once uh, if this insolvency company will be called as solvent at the time they have to pay off their debts. So here he may pay in future. So insolvent is not permanent stage. At future time maybe you will be called as solvent at the time you are supposed to pay off your debt. Now if we coming part for the bankruptcy, here you can see bankruptcy it is a situation in which individual or organize sends an application to the relevant court where he declare himself as insolvent due to inability to pay off debts. It just simply meaning that here in this part you yourself declare or the company itself declare as insolvent but in bankruptcy the individual or the company will going to send an application, will going to file an application stating that we are no more uh, there for the company, uh, like we are unable to pay the debts of the company, so declare us as insolvent. Here when the court declare any individual or organization as insolvent, it will be called as bankruptcy. Once the, once the court declare that is the uh, company or individual is bankruptcy, so that means they are legally declaring themselves that they are unable to pay their debts, not now but also in future. Insolvency is a temporary and bankruptcy is a permanent stage. Here the persons cannot recover their debt from the company once they declare by the court as bankruptcy. Now the court may decide whether the applicant is insolvent or not. Once the court declare he uh, is insolvent, that is bankruptcy, he will be free from all the debts. So simply where the insolvent end, there the bankruptcy will start. So insolvency is temporary state and bankruptcy is the permanent stage. And this bankruptcy uh, will going to declare by the court only. Right? So, you could say that insolvency is the first stage and bankruptcy is the second stage. You can see here I have written over here, insolvency is the stage 1, bankruptcy is the stage 2. So, here I, I, I have written also, bankruptcy starts where insolvency ends. It is the last stage of insolvency. Now, we have come uh, with the meaning of insolvency, bankruptcy. Now, we will look for the code to the, uh, 2016. This is actually the year which has the, this um, act has been passed. So, we will re, uh, see regarding code. Code means specific rules applicable to insolvency and bankruptcy. Certain rules they have framed. So, those rules will be applicable to insolvency and as well as bankruptcy. This also have made a statement insolvency may uh, or may not lead to bankruptcy. So, here I have written that court will decide. If the court is not deciding that the company is bankruptcy, then they will be remained as insolvent only. Now you could see here IBC have cut it in short insolvency bankruptcy code bill was passed in Lok Sabha in uh, May 28th of 2016. Okay, this In this year it has been passed on so and so date and become effective from December 1st 2016. Okay, Now here you can see arranged a tribunal after uh, effective date they have arranged a tribunal. This tribunal has divided into two parts. The first part will be handled by NCLT that is National Company Law Tribunal and the second thing is debt recovery. Now in this uh, part, the 
Hello everyone. Today we'll start with Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code 2016. So there are two different words with different meanings. First we'll try to understand the meaning of insolvency. As you all know, insolvency or insolvence uh, is the person or is a company who is unable to pay his own debt. Otherwise, uh, where the assets are not enough to cover up the liabilities, whatever assets are there for the company that are not sufficient to pay off your liabilities. So it arises due to inability to pay off outstanding debts. Whatever debts you are previously used to have, those outstanding